day two of testing raw milk versus pasteurized milk. In many states, if you want to buy raw milk, you have to buy it directly from the farmer. I found a local farmer, and now we get to see how the milk holds up after multiple weeks of testing. On day one, you might recall we found growth in both the raw and pasteurized milk. There were an estimated thousands of bacteria in the raw milk and 50 in the pasteurized milk. However, what's fun about this experiment is that bacteria have a life cycle that looks like this. As the days go on, you'll be able to see the amount of bacteria grow and then eventually die off as the food source runs out. If I were to guess, the raw milk has bacteria around here and the pasteurized milk is just getting started. And we can use petri dishes to visualize this. This is the second dilution, which doesn't tell us anything because either there's too much growth or it's a spreader bacteria. At the fourth dilution, each of those colonies represents 10,000 bacteria, so we can estimate that there are about 500,000 bacteria in the raw milk. On the other hand, the pasteurized milk had a spreader bacteria because the second dilution had no growth, so that gives us an estimate of between 1 and 100 bacteria. 